Yo guys, it's Kiralis and welcome back everybody to the Minecraft Inspiration Series with me, Kiralis and... Me, Andy Azura. What's up guys? Hi Sandarino. Hi, yeah. Sandarino, you brought me here in front of this majestic looking building, which you said it's a mm -hmm. library, a Carnegie library. This is super exciting because this is a library, one of thousands built in the United States and all over the world by... Andrew. A guy called Andrew, which is a really good name. Andrew, I have to admit. Andrew, 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 Andrew. Carnegie. Uh, a Scottish-American philanthropist, which is just basically a rich business guy. That is the guy who kind of kind of started up the whole steel, steel businesses in America, no, didn't he? I think he did. Railroads and steel. Um, that was his big thing. It certainly was. And he actually made, get this, 2,509 libraries. <laughs> So, uh, what, uh, sorry, two thousand so five hundred and nine libraries he built personally. Well, not personally, but he paid for all these libraries all across the United States, um, uh, United Kingdom, Ireland, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Serbia. What a good guy! S what a guy! What if you've got lots of money, <laughs> what better thing to spend it on? Brush Park Public Library. Ex de dedication. Dedication. Ex Dadicon. De oh, sorry, Dadicon. Based off a Carnegie Library in Lansing, uh, MI, USA. What is MI? Michigan. Michigan. Now, this library in Lansing, Michigan, I think it's actually turned into the community college. Um, so it's not no longer an independent library, but. Ex Dadicon? Screenshot. <laughs> this looks exactly like one I can see in the picture. And you know what, before we enter the library and talk more about it, I just want to sh show the viewers this. This is kind of still under construction, but if you're like into building like American football stadiums or like colleges and stuff, this place next door, which is under construction, we're going to tour about this place when it's fully done. But <laughs> dude, this is absolutely incredible. Oh, yes. No. I oh mean, th this, this, is awesome. inc this is incredible, and I got a little scoreboard here. I mean, this is beautiful, and this school which is being built here, or I don't know what you call it, university college, I don't know what it is, but it's a school anyhow. And look, have you seen this? The, the gym? Little, the little gymna gymnasium. Uh, I can tell what it is before I even got close. Oh my goodness, that's good. Go blue! <laughs> go, go blue! Like, I mean, this is, this is mind blown straight away but you know what let's get back to the library we're gonna tour about this place when it's fully done is that bathrooms maybe no who is a dark place i don't know what it is okay sorry dude don't mess with that blue team <laughs> don't mess with the blue team so let's turn about the little library and you know what one thing which strikes me straight away it's a lot of brick but it looks beautiful and the combination with brick the quartz and the sandstone in this manner is just incredible it's awesome. The, the real life build is is brick, um, oh, with I think some sandstone. So he's got it nailed. Uh, the detail. The detail is amazing, and the and the and the basement windows. I, you know what? I, I'm a sucker for those. I love basement windows like this. Oh, me too. It kind of just intrigues you into the build. You want to go in and see what's down there. Yeah, exacto mundo. What is you here? I mean, there could be some toilets down there. You'll oh. get excited. Yeah. It's got a little book drop off here on the back, dude. It. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a little book. Seriously? Yeah, it's got a little book drop off. Oh, those things when you're running late and the library's shut and you're gonna get fined. Yeah, so you just pop them down there and be all happy about <laughs> it. You know what? I'm entering this place. I think it's majestic. We're gonna, we're gonna take a spin on the outside as soon as we kind of tour about on the inside. This guy, ex Daticon, he kind of keeps himself to himself. Kind of quiet, doesn't speak. Um, I think he's maybe in a different time zone than the Europeans and the Americans, maybe Japanese or something. Um, so he comes on quietly, builds and leaves. <laughs> I like, I like him. I like, like honestly, like if anybody knows where Exteticon is from, please let us know. It's just great. He just keeps himself to himself and comes up with a masterpiece. And I love when builds in Minecraft are based on real life buildings. You know, that's something special. I know, like we didn't, we did some of those, uh, like maybe not real life buildings, but we did some stuff like Graph of Auto inspired. And people like nee, nee, it's a lack of inspiration. <laughs> but you know what? I think it is inspiration if I've seen one. Because I mean, recreating a build and doing it with blocks uh, from something, I think it's just amazing. This is a really nice building inside. This is a really nice building. I kind of love how it's opened up from the skylights. From, from the sky, yeah, from the flo uh, down, uh -huh. down, down floor here uh, all the way up. And the pillar is beautiful. The floor is just spot on. Everything is so symmetrical, dude. 
That's what. Yeah, that's what it's about. And if you notice this glass floor. Yeah, this is. Oh, this is metal. going down. It's going oh, down. Oh, and there's people sitting there lending out books, I guess. I guess so. Where do I you? I can't find the stairs. I know where they are. Dude, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna find. There's a lot of bookshelves here, so I guess it, like, what comes for like just showing detail. There's not much to see like detail-wise with the with the bookshelves because it's bookshelves. But I it think it looks beautiful. Look at the railings and the supports, and then even underneath. I love how he's gone round with the, the, the spruce. Is that spruce? Definitely spruce. spruce? Dark oak stairs. <laughs> spruce wood and dark oak. I'm in the basement, by the way. Nubler. You found the stairs. Nice job. <laughs> yeah. Can you see me? I'm just here in the middle. Oh, I could look down. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> there he is. Just <laughs> a quick way down. Oh, no, I can't break it. <laughs> the surpri the surprise face. Eye. Don't do it. Don't do it. Men's. We wind. never break blocks anyway Women's. as we go around. We're careful. Straight in the women's. I know. I'm it. just checking, dude. Just checking. Why do you have to be a hater? <laughs> <laughs> As usual. <laughs> Occupy, occupado. <laughs> Occupied by Corrales. Alright, so downstairs. You know what? This might be one of those. Oh, presentation room, conference room. That's kind of. Oh, that, that's really neat. Are they good? And now I, I think that's kind of a cool thing to do. And is this where are oh, the city archives? All right, because usually the city's got the archives in the library. That is something you know what, which I'm kind of I'm kind of mm -hmm. really sad about. When I was growing up, uh, I, I lived in this small community in Sweden, and uh, we had libraries like in like it was a, like a little small county you can say, right? And, oh, we had, yeah. and it was like four small villages around, and everyone had a single library in in, in that little village or place. Mm -hmm. And now they're all gone, dude. Oh, it's the same in the UK. It's just when the money goes, when the money gets tight, the libraries are one of the first to get squeezed. And I mean, it's so sad. I know, like information-based internet uh, and stuff, but you know what? Like for me, like I was growing up with that, and it's kind of like I spent so much time because it's not it was not only like books. There was like magazines. They had like computers. Uh, it was oh, just. It was. It was good. You would go to the library with screenshot. Bam. Your parent and choose a book, take it home and read it. And I used to read the Asterix uh, books. Yeah, dude, they had them. They books. had. Do you have them? <gasps> oh, there's a little fancy detail here up on the roof, and this is beautiful. Yeah, we did have the Asterix books here as well, as well, like the comic series. And we had. Mm. I don't know if I don't know if that that is something which existed outside Sweden, but I will, there was something called Like Luke. And it was a cowboy series. But that might just be the Swedish translation. It might just be Swedish, yeah. Yeah, and, and that was brilliant. I always borrowed those books and uh, comics <laughs> and whatnot. It was just cool. I, I, I miss the libraries for some reason. I know. Right. It was a good atmosphere in them as well. Yeah. This this roof is got aircon, I think. Yes. And then the skylights, but I love these little bits. He's yeah, because usually slaps. you don't you don't you don't see that, dude. You don't see that. Like I mean, usually a skylight is just like a window in the in the thingy. But here, it's kind of like the, the pillars, as you can see below, uh -huh. they're going all the way up through the skylight and kind of ending on this little slab here. And I mean, that is kind of like a cool feature and a decent feature. Such a win-win block that, because look at that. You just place it one way and then it, it can face whatever way you want with the lines. Yeah. For house building, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like this. Dude, is there anything you want to add to this building when it comes to like uh, just talk? Um, are these chimneys? Just, I'm coming up to the chimneys. No, but as, as always, everybody, if you want to come here and kind of kind of reproduce this, build it yourselves, count some blocks. There's corners in the description, so you can just come on the server, check it out, and count those blocks. Chimneys, tell me. One chimneys. There was also something at the side as well. Um, um, which side? Come, Left, come right? The front, and come to the right-hand side. I'm coming. Let me just wash my hand. The I L is on that hand. The right is here. Sorry. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Can you see me? Can you see what he's done here? I don't know if you know of this. Oh, there's upside Windows. down. Oh, yeah. dude, yeah, that is kind of like kind of kind of decent feature, and there's like slabs and upside down stairs involved in uh -huh. this. But then there's like a window missing here. Yeah, but that's cool. That's kind of like I, it, it might be just bricked in. Ah, uh -huh. I think it might be, or this kind of part of the design of the actual building. I think it, it I might. Like that. It might be. But you know how it's like usually like when when people kind of. Uh, like convert old buildings for example I, i'm not telling this is kind of like an old conversion because this is kind of like the legit thing mm -hmm. but usually like when people convert buildings they kind of brick brick uh, some windows and and stuff and kind of have some uh, some other stuff in there in the space in instead if you know what i mean oh definitely yeah and i think just extending that uh, little windowsill 
he's kind of genius. Or maybe he just forgot a window, dude. And we're, we're like, we're just, <laughs> we're, 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 we're just praising, praising him for his talent. And he's like, oh, he's like, oh crap, I forgot the window. But anyhow, I'm coming. The other side has got windows all over the place. I think in real life that, that that site is actually connected to the college with some modern extension. Okay, so then we have to ask, people living in Lansing, Michigan, USA. <laughs> Did he nail it? Did he nail it? What would you give it on a scale 1 to 10? And in real life, is this window missing? Everybody let us know. But anywho, dude, like, what would you rate it? Um, um, Four! No, no dude. Okay. Um, nine point I two. <laughs> it's uh, not, yeah, I would give it nine point point two as well. No, nine point three, just because because okay. Brush Park City History, Carnage Brush Landmark, Library Park, eighteen ninety nine, a beautiful place. X X uh, crap. X Dedicon 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 X Dedicon. Thank you so much for this beautiful library, Carnegie Andrew Carnegie Library, Did and. Yeah, the Victorian mansion from him, I think. I would did back in the days, I think. That was a while ago. So you want Do to see some more about Ecstaticon builds? Check it out in Inspiration Series. Ah, heli popper. Where, where? <laughs> it's a heli popper. Oh, it's a military Find one those. carrying carrying like a little uh, shipment below. That's kind of cool. No way. Oh, it's like a Chinook. It's a Chinook. Chinook heli popper. <laughs> And Where this, by the way, by the by the way, look at this little train bridge we got going here. Oh yeah, above the like the canal or something. Yeah. yeah. Damn, dude, this place. It is. This is a nice place. We need to find out what the name of this town is, guys. Please, in the comments, someone will tell us. Yeah, everybody uh, watching this, come on, the servant, you got yourselves, because there's a lot of cool stuff in this. What a beautiful scenery, and there's a lot of Victorian places and old style houses. What is you? Goodness, what now? What now? What now? It's a no, 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 no. It's, it's right. okay, 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 dude. Thank you so Save much for watching. Stuff. Thank you yeah. so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Give some feedback for X Dedicon in the comment section. Hit the like button, of course, and give it the score one to ten on a scale. What would you rate it? Perfect. May the blocks be with you guys. That's my line. But anyhow, see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ahoy. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, guys.